Inside this pile of garden mulch at the Billabong Sanctuary is something very special. One of our females last night, uh, she constructed a mound uh, made of earth materials and she deposited possibly somewhere between 50 to 60 eggs. It's required by law for keepers of crocs to remove the eggs, essentially so babies aren't running around through public places and people's backyards. And the only way to get them is by jumping in the enclosure with the mother and father crocs who are trying to protect their offspring. As soon as she's laid the eggs, she's defensive of that nest for the whole time that the eggs are in there. In the wild, she's got to protect them from pigs and goannas and stuff, and here she's protecting it from us. One by one, the eggs are carefully collected while the adult crocs are kept at bay. Each egg is laid inside a crate with mulch to make sure the delicate cargo isn't broken. I believe we've collected somewhere in the vicinity of about 60 to 70 eggs. Uh, which we're very happy. Obviously the next step is getting them back to the incubator, getting them washed. Once the eggs have been cleaned up, they'll go through a health check to make sure they're in good order. We'll chuck them in the incubator. They're going to stay in there for 32 degrees for about anywhere between 80 to 90 days and that's pretty important. Rick says by keeping the eggs at a constant temperature, there's more chance the babies will be males. Once they hatch, they'll be shipped out to other zoos and croc farms around the country. Benjamin Stavala, Win News.